exactly the same way as it's very difficult to find things uh, in your house if, if everything is just lying around on the floor. Uh, but exactly as you can tidy up at home and put everything in its correct place, you can also clean up in your brain and make it a lot easier to find things. And uh, uh, yeah, it, it's not brainwashing, it's, it's uh, actually a nice way of, of just ordering your memories. Uh, and one of the best ways to, to do this is to use a thing that is called the memory palace. And uh, this is a really, really cool uh, thing. It's a very old technique, more than 2,000 years old. And uh, it sounds very flashy, but it's actually rather simple. Uh, a memory palace uh, can be any place uh, that you know kind of well, uh, like your house or uh, the university or the way to the university. Uh, just any place that you can, you can picture yourself, you can see yourself walking through this place uh, on a small walk, like a small journey. And uh, we go through your house, for example. And then along this journey, you choose small points along the way where you can place whatever you want to memorize in the shape of images. And this is actually exactly what we did with the countries. Uh, then we used our body as the memory palace, so it's, it's a place that we know sort of well. And then we had a small journey going from the head and through the ears, eyes, nose, down to our feet. And along this journey we had 10 spots or points along the way where we placed the thing that we wanted to remember, in this case, the countries. Uh, and this makes it actually a lot more uh, easy to, to recall what we memorized. Because if I, uh, yeah, you, you may take some time to think about this, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll ask you now, uh, which is the, the fourth uh, largest country in the world? China. Yeah, exactly, China. And then instead of having to, to hope, to, to, to sort of fish for this information in this soup here, inside here, you know that the, the countries, they are on your body. And then you just count one, two, three, four, and the memory of China is firmly attached to your nose in this case, <laughs> but uh, yeah, to a place so that you know that it's exactly there that you have to look to find it. And, and this thing that we did right now, it's, it's actually just a small, small taste of how extremely powerful this method is because you can memorize thousands of things using a memory palace. Uh, and for example, when, when I'm memorizing these, these ones and zeros that I showed in the beginning, uh, I usually I, I convert them into images, of course, and then I I usually picture myself walking through a, a, a big amusement park in Sweden and then I might see some images there in the entrance and then the fountain and then the, the first uh, roller coaster etc. And then I might do a hundred of them and then go back to the beginning and then the thing that you place there is almost always still where you left it. Uh, so this is a, a very, very cool and very easy uh, technique and I, I, I'd like to show you uh, a, sort of a bigger memory palace that I've created. Uh, it's this one here. This is, uh, is there anyone who, who recognizes this view? No? No. It would be extremely surprising uh, because this is actually my, my hometown in Sweden, uh, Skövde, a very small town in the middle of Sweden. So, yeah. uh, but uh, it, it looks like this from the, from the sky and um, I sort of picture myself uh, walking through, through the city uh, on a particular journey. Uh, so it starts here at my, my old uh, high school and then goes down to the sports arena, uh, through the supermarket, through the park and away to the, the bus stops over here. And uh, along this journey I chose uh, about 100 stops along the way where I then could put whatever I wanted to, to memorize. And on this particular uh, memory palace I've chosen to memorize all of the uh, Academy Award winners for best movie uh, through the ages. So yeah, it might sound as a little bit of a silly thing to memorize uh, or quite quite uh, unuseful, uh, especially since you don't know what half of the movies were about. Uh, but it's actually yeah, quite, you, you get a sort of a nice overview of the movie history. Uh, and it's also like that, that when you discover these techniques and you, you notice how easy suddenly everything is to memorize, you sort of get obsessed by memorizing things <laughs> and you, you grab your hands on, on whatever you, you happen to see. Uh, for example, the, the Oscar winners. Um, so yeah, and then yeah, I also have to tell you that I, uh, I sort of to make it easier to, to quickly jump to the, the correct year. I've um, uh, marked every fifth year with a special uh, number image that I will tell you a little bit more about later. Uh, so I know exactly, uh, I can jump immediately to 1965 or 1970 or 1975, uh, etc. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't have to start from the beginning every time I'm looking for a year in the palace. So uh, yeah, let's, let's take a few examples. Uh, if you have a year between 1928, which was the, the, the first time they had a, the awards, and uh, 2014, which was the latest one, uh, that you've always been thinking about who, which movie won the Oscar for best movie that year, but you haven't had the time to Google it, uh, then you have the opportunity now. <laughs> 1979. 79? 
Mm. So then I just jumped to the closest fifth year, uh, so 1980, so it's in the park, uh, in the park here. And then I, I go one step back, and then I can get to a, to a fountain. And in this fountain there are two, uh, like two wrestlers, and they are, uh, they're fighting each other, but they're very tired, so they're sort of hugging each other like this. And uh, hug, or to hug in Swedish, uh, is uh, krama. Uh, and the movie is Kramer versus Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, yeah, the image for that one. Uh, yeah, any other year that you've been thinking about? I'm in 62. 62? Then we go to, to 60, that's uh, at the, uh, the parking lot there. And then uh, 61 and 62, uh, it's, it's uh, someone going in through, through a door, and that's uh, uh, Lawrence riding on a camel. Uh, so it's Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> Shall we take one more example just to. Uh, yeah, okay, 57. So I uh, go to 55, it's in the park, and then uh, 56 and 57. So that's, uh, that's a, a river and a bridge over it, so that's the, uh, the bridge on the river Kwai. Yeah. What, did you also have one? I was going to say, I was going to put in 2000s, 2002. 2002, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, I actually taught some people this uh, earlier today, so maybe they're here and they would also know it. Uh, but 2002, then I would go to, uh, it's the, the bus stops, and then 2001, go through this, uh, yeah, so 2000, that's the gladiator standing there, so it's gladiator. Then I'm walking through a, a very beautiful brain, uh, a beautiful mind, and I'll come to, to a port uh, covered in uh, something that, that in Swedish it's called the uh, Sheik Ator, uh, and the movie is uh, Chicago. <laughs> so when I, when I taught them uh, this in English, I used uh, a chicken instead, so a chicken could also remind you of Chicago. Uh, yeah, so, so this is how it works with a, with a bigger memory palace, and uh, this might seem a little bit impressive when I'm standing here showing off in front of you like this. Uh, but actually it's, it's very simple and it's very easy and anyone could, could do this. Uh, so if you, against all odds, would find yourself in Skövde one day, uh, then just give me a call and we'll go this walk and I'll point at the images and you'll also know all the Academy Award winning movies after about half an hour. <laughs>